Gel coat delamination mainly occurs due to poor surface preparation and application defects such as contamination between successive coats and exceeding overcoat interval. If the overcoating intervals of paints exceeded, the bonding between the successive layers of coating will reduce and the top layer will started to peel off. For GRE lining, surface preparation is a critical thing. Lack of sufficient surface profile will lead to lack of bonding between the substrate and the lining. Contaminants have a huge role for generating this kind of defects in GRE lining. Contaminants such as fine dusts, oils, salt contaminations, which make the lining layers have poor bonding. The final finish of the gel coat is very smooth and glossy. If we apply additional layer of gel coat above this layer and this layer of coating will not have a good bonding with the existing layer which leads to delamination of the lining. Blisters can be classified into two categories. One is osmotic blisters and other one is non-osmotic blisters. There are some well-known mechanisms or driving forces that fuel osmotic blister formation. In simple terms, the actions of these forces result in the accumulation or concentration of moisture at specific points within the coating film. These driving forces are Contamination of the steel substrate by water-soluble salts Water-soluble solvents trapped within the applied coating film Thermal gradients across the coated surface even though many blistering problems are commonly associated with coatings in immersion service and high continuous moisture exposures, blisters can and do form by other mechanisms. These non-osmotic blisters, which we call bubbles, are often associated with characteristics of the substrate or environmental conditions during coating application. Here you can see the blisters removed locations in a tank bottom GRE lining. The tank bottom plate is severely corroded. Here the corrosion is originated from the underside of the tank bottom plate due to some improper soil condition. And the GRE lining get exposed to the contaminants which leads to the formation of blisters. Generally air pockets are formed in fiberglass mat due to insufficient rolling of mat layers when resin and mat is applied. Trapped air in the mat or mat layer overlaps that is not properly rolled to remove air before the surface dries. This air pockets mostly occurs the overlapping edges of the GRE lining. From the first image you can see that. All air pockets are in a line which is the overlapping junction of the adjacent GRE lining. These air pockets are easily breakable which allow the stored product to penetrate through the lining and affect the remaining layers of lining. Lining cracks occurs when the tank bottom plates having any kind of settlements during service. Because the GRE lining is very brittle, any kind of expansion or contraction can make crack on the lining. These cracks can allow the product to contact with the substrate materials leads to corrosion. Holiday can be defined as a discontinuity in coating, when a part of the surface remains uncoated. A defect such as an area of insufficient coating film thickness. A pinhole within the coating. A crack within the coating. An improper adhesion or bonding of the coating. A paint or coating or lining must be applied as a continuous film to perform its intended function. Early failure will occur if there is a discontinuity. A holiday, as it is commonly called such as a pinhole void and crack, area of low dry film thickness, inclusion, contaminant in the paint or coating or lining film. Many of these defects are not seen by the naked eye, but they can be located using holiday detection equipment. Pinholes usually caused by application of thick gel coat or by holding the gun too close to the surface which can force bubbles into the coating and leads to pinholes. Lack of cleaning such as accumulation of dust particles prior to the application of gel coat is also creates pinholes on the surface of the lining. These pinholes on the top layers will allow the stored product inside the tank to penetrate to the underneath layers. Gradually it will damage the underneath layers of the lining. 
These defect is mainly occurs due to improper application of lining. These voids are generated in between fiberglass mat and tissue due to entrapment of foreign particles or contaminants. These voids are flat and bigger size easily breakable in nature which can make the lining weaker. So during service, these air voids get damaged and it allows to the stored product inside the tanks to penetrate to the underneath layer of lining. Gradually it will affect the integrity of the whole lining as well as the tank bottom plate. These are the main GRE lining defects we can observe in crude oil tanks and other chemical storage tanks. Here you can see some GRE lining defects due to poor application. We can see a lot of contaminants and dust particle inside the lining. Before cleaning they applied the final gel coat above those contaminants. These will create a poor bonding between the layer and sharp dust particles or contaminants will opens the top layer of lining and allows the product to enter into the underneath layers. Here in the first image you can see some depths in the GRE lining. This is because of insufficient gel coat applied on fiber glass mat and tissue layer. So after applying the final gel coat the underneath layer of fiber glass mat and tissue absorbs the gel coat from the top layer. That is why this final surface of the lining is looks like uneven. In second image you can see some dark colored areas in the lining. Final gel coat was missing in those locations. So the fiber glass tissue layer absorbs the color of the stored product in the storage tank. Thank you for watching the video and have a good day.